Hi, I'm Florence Chu from the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. My forthcoming article for Theory, Culture and Society, titled Post-Human Ethics with Kerry Wolf and Karen Barad, brings into conversation the works of these two scholars on the subject of human agency, particularly around notions of ethics and compassion. What fascinates me about Kerry Wolf and Karen Barad is their commitment to a broader notion of life, life we might say as a radical form of interconnectivity. For Wolf, who works in the field of animal studies, the project of posthuman ethics is about recognizing the human as a human animal whose defining characteristics are not so much exceptional as they are characteristics of what he calls a generalized animal sensorium. By the same token for Barad, who is a feminist and a quantum physicist, asking the question of what constitutes human agency involves a much more profound sense of a material and an ontological entanglement one that complicates any simple understanding of the human as a discrete species with an independent set of properties. Nevertheless, given that Kerry Wolf's work is often taken to be an exemplary version of posthumanist theory, my paper is a critical examination of his arguments, in particular as he champions the notion of trans-species empathy through the work of animal rights activist Temple Grandin. So even though I share Wolf's overall aim in reworking traditional tenets of humanism, I also draw on contradictions in his own commitments to rethinking human exceptionalism and show how his appeal for a more compassionate account of ethics can be more gainfully addressed through the work of Karen Barad. As I see it, Barad presents us with a much more provocative line of inquiry by asking how it is that the human emerges in and even as the world self-encounter. Using the famous two-slit experiment in physics as a guiding problem, Barad explains the quantum puzzle that sees every exclusion as constitutive. In other words, that the emergence of any one entity or any bit of matter is already its entire frame of reference, life's self-entanglement. For me, thinking about ethical inquiry in Barad's sense of life self-entanglement would pre present us with a radically different way to understand the production of binarity. Put simply, ethics can't oppose the good to the bad or take the good with the bad because in a very real sense, what determines an ethical response is enabled by the moral quandary as it presents itself in all its inconsistencies and competing justifications. In other words, there is no position or no moral compass that orients us from a position outside the object or scene of violation. So these are the sorts of questions that I pose in my paper. And for me, it is in this sense that a more fruitful and honest space for conversation about the complexity of ethical inquiry can be approached. And here, I also pose the question of what posthumanist ethics hopes to achieve, given the paradox that any form of posthumanist intervention will call into question the very identity of the human. Thank you.